the conference today starts off with this very theme human security requires a people centered multidisciplinary understanding of security involving a number of research fields such as international relations development studies studies relating to strategic concerns environmental theft human rights concerns spread of epidemics virals etc all these relate directly to what we may call human security and existence of this animal of god which exists on this earth the united nations development programs UNDP's 1994 Human Development Report is considered a milestone publication in the field of human security with its argument that ensuring freedom from want and freedom from fear for all persons is the best path to tackle the problem of global insecurity while freedom from want and freedom from fear do constitute the all encompassing ingredients for human security some critics consider this de definition as too vague for developing counter strategies and counter measures and that this definition does provide an unnecessary platform for eccentric activists to meddle round in national and international affairs some critics feel that the UNDP concept of human security provides for a virtually limitless UN intervention and a convenient handle with which governments may repress their population into servility just like north korea has done there are many other critics of freedom from want and freedom from fear which is the basic requirement of human existence but nevertheless basic to human existence and well-being is the overall challenge to the all encompassing concern namely human security in fact all concerns relating to security are and must continue to be subservient to the concept of human security closer to home and to the indian continent subcontinental region the concerns would be external aggression an infiltration of disruptive forces religious polarization distancing of one community from another on the basis of caste community region religion culture and age old warped concepts relating to women and children widening gulf between masses due to wealth disparities and corruption and the human security challenges that all these points mentioned above create better technology for safety and security does provide a small countermeasure better technology to the fallout from the above concerns and challenges and is within our grasp and understanding to rely on from a layman's point of thinking and approach and for this i would like to express my appreciation for those who are involved in organizing this conference and to all those experts who will address us 
and favor us with their theories and knowledge. Well, friends, as a matter of introduction, I will leave it there. And uh, at the end of the session, prefer to sum up to whatever extent I can, hoping to grasp most of what is said. The speakers for this session are Mr. Casey Reddy, former Chief Security Advisor to the United Nations, who will deal with emerging challenges to human security from an international perspective. The second speaker you have is Dr. M. Malakondaya, IPS, Director General ACB, until quite recently, Director Andhra Pradesh Police Academy, which has now been split into two. He will address us on emerging challenges to national security and regional perspectives. So you have the international perspective and you have the regional perspective for this session. Well, sit back and relax and enjoy the session on human security. A relaxed mind, they say, is a more receptive mind. However, a bit, bit of advice to everyone, a much too relaxed mind takes us into an uncontrolled stupor which could negate all the benefits that this conference offers. Thank you.